Oh man. I figured since I was recording this right after the Wednesday one that I was throwing things out of whack and expectations were not met or known during this week. I figure why not punish myself? Hopefully to your enjoyment. I don't know how much you guys enjoy Schadenfreude, but we're about to find out. I'm going to take a sip and get ready to quite potentially get the worst score ever playing GeoGuessr. Here we go. I'm doing Australian Oceana Fixed. And this was polygonal with all no buggy maps included. But I can already tell. <clears throat> when I clicked on this, it was actually just saying Oceana. I didn't know this was going to include Aust uh, Australia in it. But, you know, that was just some false advertising. I'm I don't know who exactly it, it, who exactly was to blame for the false advertising, but here we are. Um, it's your Friday. You both made it. Again, I mean, I'm you. You're probably getting tired of me saying. I'm just gonna say it real quick. Yes, I had to change the way this week was gonna go. So I'm doing this on Tuesday. If you had map suggestions for me, sorry, I'll get to it next week. Please forgive me, and take this. Awful, awful score I'm about to get on this map as a righteous punishment for what, what's, what's, what I've done. Hmm. I feel like maybe it says right there exactly where we are. I'm not going to find it. I have to make a choice. This way. Can I go this way? We're going to go this way. I think this might actually... I went this way because I thought it was going to take me to civilization. But... I don't think it has or is going to. Whatever that seal is, I don't know. feels like it's uh, two guns crossed each other over an emblem. Now I wonder... <clears throat> Where exactly in Australia this is, and if this is all like completely gone now because of fires, like I don't know, I just feel the heat, like how can you live in what essentially is like a hundred and twenty degree Fahrenheit location? It gotta be like near a town like yeah. No through rude. No through rude. What's wrong with my mouth? I guess we're going this way. I don't want to go this way. I want to go this way. Minute 20. We got a T instruction. I think I'm just like doing circles around here. Oh, wait. We do actually have a road. Shit. Now it's just time to book it down this thing and... See if I can't uh, find some rootage to help me out here. Oh, shit. Go-karts. Hey, how's it going? Something river. Or is this like an RC racetrack? That's even cooler. Oh, man. I want an RC racetrack. Those things are so fun. They're like the... Super souped up ones too. I had one of those. Wait, let's let's get this out of the way. I want to see what this says. King River Hall. I think we're Madura. I'm gonna put us there. I'm gonna get six points. I had a go kart. Not a go kart, a gas powered RC car when I was a little kid. I think I mentioned that before where uh it was alcohol, gas type that you could, uh, if you got any in your skin, it basically just ate it away. It was kind of like bleach in that sense. Oh, it wasn't that far off. We were, we were near, well, we were near Albany. Cool. This is going to end up being all Australia. I'm going to be kind of mad because I want this to be a really bad score. But the game seems to, uh, 
only let me do some Australia ones. Granted, this this continent's huge. I mean, I'm not going out on a limb here saying that this continent isn't huge. I think this highway is probably saying, like, this is a highway going over the hinterlands and does not is not kept up in any way. So write it at your own risk, I think is probably what that says. And all of this here would probably tell me what I need to know, but it doesn't. So we're gonna go the other way. I think I'm not I think I'm going if I'm end up going the same way again, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be humorous, hilarious. I'm gonna laugh because of course I picked the same way twice. But I feel that that was probably just like, yeah, we acknowledge there's a road here, but it's just in like spirit. Actual execution is like if we we check this thing once every 10 years, don't expect us to maintain this thing. It's It's just a strip of dirt that we've all agreed cars can go over. Whether or not someone spent the past six months digging a six foot trench in it, we don't know. We won't know for another nine and a half years, but uh, knock yourself out. Oh, we do have a truck with a very large tractor. So this th th this is a paved road, and there's farmland, it appears. I mean, I can't tell through this uh, Vaseline-smeared pixelation garden here. And I remember way back when, I forget what the website was called, but it basically had the first uh, satellite maps you could look at. And this type of quality back then would have blown my mind as to how amazing it looks, but now not so much. It's just the quality you come to expect. All right, I gotta, I gotta make a guess. I'm gonna say we're around Alice Springs and just be done with it. And take a sip. I doubt it's Alice Springs, but anyway, here we go. We're going to go this way and maybe try the other way on the intersection. I doubt it's going to be any better. Like, what are we building here? Why build a sign? I don't even know if. Like I'm almost thinking about like that ice uh, the the Greenland thing where we drove like by that one chunk of um the cliff face of reduced speed I believe that says yep see these glasses are coming in pretty handy now like there's probably chunks of this road that maybe se sees like three people a year. And if you just like sit here one day and just listen, and just see how many actual cars come by in a day, and just relax and be a be a vehicle tourist or or like a silence tourist. I wonder if that's actually going to be a thing in the future. Like, eventually, enough people live too close together too long enough, and they're like, I want to go to a silence vacation, quiet vacation. Oh, that just reminded me of a thing I did over the weekend. Um, this feels to be maybe another Australia location, but we'll see. Um, went and visited a relative in the hospital with uh, the family. And as a thing to kind of relax, my mom always wanted to do this thing, <clears throat> is a salt cave. Now, I'm pretty uh, ambivalent or just unaware, I guess you could say, too, of uh, the whole Himalayan rock, the, the, the sea salt lamps, those things. Like, it's weird that the where I work, the office is like, there's a lot of shit you can't have at your desk, but we're completely okay with you having a rock lamp. Like, I, I don't understand the points of these things, but that's, it's not for me. I did always wonder though, if I like I went to someone's desk and like just went up to the rock lamp and licked it, how much of it would actually taste like salt? Like I don't know. But I feel like I want to find out. 
anyway, she's like, oh, I always wanted to go to this rock, uh, this salt rock cave. Bouton Pass. It's not going to pop up on my screen here, but we're just going to go this way. Um, and I'm just picturing in my head, oh, a rock cave. The first thing you think of is a salt cave is a fucking hole in the middle of a mountain. And I live in an area that has mountains. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Someone spent the money and time to either dig out a hole in the side of a mountain and uh, cast kindy. That's weird. That's a weird color of your car. And just stuff the thing full of this of salt. I'm like, okay, you want to do this stuff. I'm I'm not here to judge. You you do what you want. I'll be here to uh you know, support you just because you want to do this thing. Wallengong, I've seen that word. Um I don't know if I'm gonna see it happen this far out. So I agree to do it. We go out and have uh, lunch, and we proceed to uh, go to the salt cave. And I thought we were going to take a nice, like, 15, 20-minute drive outside of town to uh, go to this thing. And turns out, it's like, no, it's the building next door. And their uh, uh, salt cave, which I'm going to use, I'm, I'm doing air quotes. You can't, you can't hear me air quote, but... Is just a room full of, okay, we're on 88. That is a different highway sign. But that is a 136. Are we down here? I think we're down here. And it, it's just a room that they have questionable salt on. Which I think a lot of it just ended up being like uh, the type of rocks they use in fish tanks on the, uh, where the fuck is it, 84? I'm clicking over here just to have somewhere close, but I don't know if I'm going to be anywhere near close and or right. But I went into this expecting oh, 87, have a very bad score. So this turns out to be even worse. Well, bully to me. I don't know. Wollongong. It's not. It's not popping up here. Oh, we were. Oh, Wollongong, right there outside Sydney. Well, fuck me. These are all Australia. What the fuck? I mean, it's it's random. What are you gonna do? But at the same time, come on. But I went into this thing. It was a room. The entire floor. There was no like carpeting or anything. It was just actually completely filled with I'm going to guess were just uh, fish tank rocks that were in the color of the sea salt. These bricks glued to the wall that were basically like the bricks you would see on the outside of a brick building. Just they were these sea salt bricks or at least they were painted or styled to look like them. I don't know how much of them actually were sea salt. My guess is it was probably just to look like them. And there was a bunch of chairs in there, just just uh, lounge chairs. Like you're at a beach, a mine site near Waterloo. Well, Waterloo mine site, I don't know if I'm actually ever going to see it. But I think we're somewhere in here. I'll just say we're near Bandia. Maybe take a look around to see if I don't see Waterloo somewhere. But again, I'm there just to support. Yep, you know you're you're having a shit day, shit couple of weeks. We'll go ahead and do it. So the the process of doing it, you rent this room out for an hour, so we're sitting in it, and this woman just hits play on this 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 iPad she has, and this hour long, you know, new wave Enya style music starts playing, and then the guy narrates the thing and then lets you know exactly where Himalayan sea salt comes from. And, I mean, I'm new to this. You probably aren't, so just humor me, please. Um, 
was just saying the the whole deal with sea salt is this from the oceans way back when in like there was Pangea or some other shit. And the uh Indian subcontinent crashed into the Eurasian continental plate and then just stuffed the Himalayan mountains just full of the sea salt there and it's un touched by all the impurities of the worlds and it's holds trace amounts of all the essential vitamins and minerals or some other horseshit that a human needs to survive and just hanging out in this thing it's just going to be beneficial for you in every way and i mean i was just rolling my eyes at it but it was just a nice thing to sit for an hour i mean the rocks did hurt i mean you're not allowed to have shoes on there you had to go either in your socks or barefoot, and I felt, well, I might as well go for the full experience and be barefoot as I punch the mic, sorry. Um, again, it's just a list of things. I'll try it once, and uh, I'll probably be done with it. I mean, earlier in the day, it turned out that I need a sip. Hold on. It didn't plan out this way. It just happened that girlfriend wanted to go do some relaxing yoga with me. I forget it's actually what it's called, but it's a lot of Resting poses and holding them for like 10 minutes. It was a, uh, I guess a private class or whatever. It was just me and her and her uh, the yoga teacher in her house. It has a really cool house um, in one of her rooms. It's just this side room off fold of like yoga mat on the floor. It's heated. It has this music playing. And you're holding all these different poses. Listening to her quote from books, just new age energy stuff, talking about mantras and other stuff. Interesting to do it once. I probably won't do it again. I mean, well, it was only like one pose that kind of worked for me, where it was just really just leaning back up against a pillow and all my arms and legs. Well, it was pretty close, actually. All my arms and legs were comfortably supported, and I just sat there for like 10 minutes. I was like, I could have done this forever. And we seem to have struck out as far as getting any Oceania ones here. I'm sorry, but I tried as much as I can by hitting random. Um, And one of the things I guess I have with any sort of like meditation or any relaxing stuff like that, it's like focus way too much. It's like when I sleep, I got to have a fan on. Otherwise, I just pay attention to whatever noise there is, whether it's from coming from inside my body or like a TV playing somewhere. I just pay attention to it. This is a construction vehicle. Hmm. Um, but sitting there relaxing, and all of a sudden, she, she warned us about the cat trying to get in. And lo and behold the thing came over and started meowing and scratching at the door and i just spent the rest of the time there just relaxing thinking about the cat just petting it it enjoying it and i guess that's this uh, a form of getting the meditation to work but <clears throat> maybe not what they had in mind when uh when actually uh partaking in the class but again i tried it blanchet town Something River Road. Don't think I'll do it again. But now that I know, it's all I need. It was good to at least try it. So far now, I've struck out in every single type of yoga I've taken. Granted, it was Bikram yoga on one end, and whatever the hell you want to call this on the other. Quite a juxtaposition. I mean, I'm sure there's stuff in the middle, but... Go big or go home, is what I say. Can I find out where we are from this sign? This is going to be all the information I'm going to get. However, it's being a dick and just blurring out the one important thing. D1. I don't know Murray Bridge in Loxton. Is it over here? I see a D1, but I don't know what that means. Swan Reach. What's this sign say? Blanchetown, 28 kilo meters. The D1. There's a sign here. 
Oh, I went too far. Let me see what this says. Locks in a branch town. Why are you blurring it out? Oh, that's just road names. I don't care. D1. Swan Reach, Walker Flat, Murray Bridge. I don't know where the D1 is. I'm just going to click here and maybe come across it. I, I doubt it. Swan Reach. None of these are showing up. <clears throat> Darwin, nope. East Arnhem, none of those are it. Is this near the water? I saw enough water ponds or whatnot, but that's not helpful. Oh, we're near Adelaide. Is this the D1? Hunter Road. I don't see D1 anywhere here. I feel misled. But got more points than I thought, but it just stuck us on Australia. I was hoping to at least get a couple out in the ocean, but what are you going to do? Well, that's going to do it for our Friday and our week. Once again, thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions for maps, ideas, Anything at all, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will look at them. Again, starting next week, I guess you can count this week as a teaser towards that. I'll start doing all of the videos all at once on one day, which will probably end up being Sunday, which it will be the Sunday right after this is airing, which really isn't that hard to figure out. Why am I over-explaining? I don't know. Anyway, go enjoy your weekend. Hopefully I can too. Um, Yeah. We'll see you on Monday with some more uh, guessing the old geography. Until then, have a good one, folks. We'll see you soon.